Battlefield have just dropped a brand new gameplay trailer showing off some new weapons, vehicles and also three maps that we haven't really had a good look at before. There's some great stuff in here, it is quite a short trailer but there's a fair bit to unpack so let's get stuck in. The trailer starts off on Renewal. This is a map set in Egypt and as you can see there is a giant wall that divides the level down the middle. On one side we've got lush green vegetation and on the other it's an arid desert wasteland. A stark contrast there and obviously in the lore of BF 2042 it's something that's worth fighting for. And then we switch to some gameplay and this is Irish. Puts down the deployable shield there, uses it as cover, takes out a couple of players and begins to push forward with their squad. Looks very Battlefield this shot doesn't it? Perfect for a trailer. It seems as if there's plenty of detail in the foliage here too. And then we move on, it appears that the player has gone on top of one of the buildings we could see in the background there, fighting against a little bird. They drop down and take out three players indoors as they're being supported by Dozer here with a shield. The weapon here is the PKP. We've seen that in art before, but never in first person. A couple of mods on there by the looks of it. And also look at that secondary down there. Kind of looks like a machine pistol. So maybe a secondary that they've modified with a foregrip and turned it into full automatic. Be interesting if you could do that. If you look at the UI as well, it's a bit different to the first clip we just looked at. And I think that this is the most up-to-date version of the UI because we've got the compass permanently on the screen and the enemy killed messages have now moved to the center. I think that looks way better, so I'm happy with that. And then we move on to the next map, Breakaway. This looks absolutely insane from a gameplay perspective, but also just graphically so impressive here. And all that stuff in the background you can see, that's all playable. DICE said that this is the biggest map in the game at launch, and it clocks in at approximately 5.9 kilometers squared. That's about the same size as the Vikendi map from PUBG, to give you an idea of just how massive this is. And then we switch to a gameplay clip of Sundance using the wingsuit effectively here, dropping down, picking up a kill with the DM7. Looks like so much fun that. And if you look down here, there's chunks of snow here just randomly crumbling and falling off this mass of ice. So it seems like there will be some cool weather and environmental effects on this level. Some of them you may not even notice. I just hope that the penguins are there from the reveal trailer because if they're not, there will be consequences. And then we switch to the POV of a McKay as they're making their way up a zip line here, holding what looks like an AK with a drum mag. We didn't see that on the plus system in the beta. Zipping up towards that oil rig and the size of that, that looks like it could be a level on its own. We don't know if you can go inside it or not, but just a massive piece of geometry there to fight over. The scale of this level is just ridiculous. And then finally on to Discarded. This is set in India and you'll be fighting over shipping containers and a massive cargo ship in the middle which acts as a key position of power. And then we go boots on the ground with Dozer here using the 12M auto shotgun, just chonking through people there. Brand new gun, we've not seen that before. And also that vehicle that drove past, I think that's a brand new civilian vehicle. The civilian vehicle on Orbital, the open beta map, looked like an electric pickup. But this is quite different, 4x4, maybe it seats more people, a bit more durable perhaps. And then that helicopter comes in picks them up. Very nice terrain detail and reflections on this map with those puddles of water. Graphically I'd say that this looks like the most detailed map that we've seen so far for 2042 and I think the guns here from the little bird they've either been buffed or they're a different version of the ones that we had in the open beta because this looks like they've got way more splash damage on and are doing more damage so could be a modification there for that helicopter. And unfortunately, that's it. It was quite a short trailer, but awesome to see some gameplay on additional maps that haven't been seen before outside of little snippets here and there, cinematics. I'd still love to see some unedited lengthy gameplay before launch though. And yes, we're yet to see any real hazard zone gameplay or some kind of deep dive into Portal coming soon. I hope so. And with that said, that's all for today, folks. Do let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.